All right, so this video is going to be about how I fabricated a ground anchor or an earth anchor for any kind of winching system you might have on your truck. It's made from this round stock, one inch diameter, 1144 stress proof steel. These are 24 inch sections that I ground to a point. I then used an old ARP head bolt, cut off the ends, and then welded it across the top. And I made two of these. And this one has a collar in it for my mud plate, which I'll talk about shortly. Then you have a gang plate and drive two of these stakes into the ground and almost double your ground anchoring capacity by driving through the holes in this plate. And then once the you hook your winch rope onto one, once it starts to pull a little bit, it'll pull on this plate, which will then pull on the second one. And then you'll have both stakes engaged. I, I don't want to venture an exact guess on how much this is good for, but it's in the several thousands of pounds of pull that you can get off of these stakes before bending them or pulling them out of the ground. If your ground is very soft, even muddy, these will pull right through. That's why I fabricated a mud plate. So I used some 1 16th inch gauge steel plate. I put some 1 16th inch by 1 inch angle iron on the top with some gussets, as you can see here, and some 3 16th inch by 1 inch bar across the, uh, the back to keep the, the plate from bending too much. So I welded all of this up, and then I have this collar. That way I can drive the stake and this mud plate together into the ground and still leave a substantial gap to hook my hook onto. This will hook in the ground and then as you're hammering down this will hammer down and then catch the plate and hammer down some more until you've got a real good uh, you're capturing a lot of mud there to get yourself some good pull. Final piece of the puzzle is how do you get these stakes out of the ground after you've ha hammered them 24 inches in and that's pretty simple I just have a little pipe here some conduit uh, and you can hook it on Hook it on here and you just rotate. You just spin the pipe around a little bit and pull straight up and it'll come right out. It... Stake, our first stake. This is just regular soil here. It's 24 inches long. So it takes a few hammers. Because I want to be able to get out of any situation with a fully loaded trailer so I'm gonna be a lot of pull on this stake. Alright I'll line this one up. Hooked up here to our first stake and then the gang plate will bring in the second stake as soon as it starts to move. Then we'll take up the slack in our line. Alright, so to remove these stakes, well first of all you can see the stakes didn't move. Um, you, if the stakes had moved you'd see a hole here where these all got pulled forward. This two stakes was enough to pull this, I don't know, 10,000 pounds or so, maybe 11,000 pounds out of that hole with a, uh, without a locker. So you just put this on here, just twist it and pull up while you're twisting. Throw it back in your toolbox.